Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to show you how to work with a plugin called Textilate. Let me take you to the website. Okay, you're going to see uh, some very amazing effects like the ones that you see right now. Okay, so you have the in animation and you have the out animation and this seems to be some kind of a direction. So this is the effect. Okay, you can change the effects from here. This is just a preview area, nothing else right so you see let's read out something out here textilate.js combines some awesome libraries to provide a easy to use plugin for applying CSS3 animations to any text alrighty so this is the uh, playground or basically the area where you can actually preview the effects right so let's see what does uh, you know apart from the textilate.js file what else do we need we need the main jQuery library which is a dependency so is animate.css so is lettering.js okay you can actually you know hit the download on github button and you'll actually uh, get the dependencies out here so you have the jquery textilate.js file out here you can click on this link okay and then you can click on the raw button right you can uh, say save as and save this file save it as a physical file next what you can do is to get the other two dependencies you go where you see the usage go down Okay, somewhere out here there's a link to actually download the other dependencies. So you'll, you can get the jQuery uh, main library out here, lettering.js here, and the animate.css out here. Okay, for example, let me show you how to get the animate.css. Okay, you have the animate.minified version out here, the main uh, CSS file out here. Click on the animate.css file out here okay and then you can click on the raw button the raw link and just say save as and you're actually done so what I've done is I've actually included all the dependencies in the local site folder this is the you know HTML CSS file this is the main jQuery library this is the CSS animate.css file this is the lettering uh, jQuery.lettering.js file this is the jQuery.textilate.js uh, file okay so Make sure that you have all the dependencies in the physical form in your local site folder and we can actually start to code out. Okay, let's bring up Sublime Text. Okay, so a very basic template, nothing out here. We just have the meta tag with the gas set uh, set to UTF-8, title document. Yep, and nothing, nothing, nothing out here. Okay, let's bring in the dependencies. So link tying up to the animate.css dependency number one. Dependency number two, main jQuery library. Okay. Dependency number three, jQuery li uh, lettering dot js. Okay. Dependency number four, uh, jQuery dot textilate dot js. Okay. What next? Once you have all the dependencies in the head, head of the document, uh, we will focus now. We'll get inside the body of the document. Okay. So H one with a class of TLT. Now the class could be anything else too. TLT for textilate. Okay. Opening closing H one tags and then some uh, text again could be anything okay that's my website qualitylessons.net this is my name Mohit Manuja okay something uh, more so you have the script tags where you'll actually put in your JavaScript or your jQuery okay so this is the most simplest form targeting the class TLT dot TLT and applying the text delayed method which is uh, uh, you know, a plugin specific method. Let's see what this actually does to the text. Refresh. So in the most default form, this is how uh, text delete actually works. So no looping out. Okay, let's get back to Sublime Text and change the defaults by adding in some additional optional arguments. Okay, before you can actually uh, add in the additional optional arguments, you need to put in the curly braces inside the round brackets like so and now this is the in effect so it's a roll in the delay is uh, the you know argument that's gonna uh, ensure how fast or slow the animation actually runs so the so, you know the, if the the number is small the animation is gonna be pretty snappy otherwise something like a hundred will make it slow down okay let's save the document at this point and take a browser preview by refreshing the page and that's snappy isn't it there's no you know out effect out animation as of yet so let's add in the out animation and the effect this time is a bounce okay loop set it to true because if you want to uh, 
if you want to see the out animation and you want to see everything looping around infinite times let's save the document and let's see how this actually affects the whole situation so that's roll in and actually that was a rollout rollout wasn't very you know the uh, animation out wasn't uh, very effective with the bounce so let's change this to roll out I think this look a lot better okay so let's bring up the browser refresh and let's see how this actually so that's a roll in and that's the roll out okay roll in again so it's uh, looping again and again and again wonderful right uh, let's you know set uh, let's increase the delay to a 100 let's see how this actually affects okay let's do a refresh so that's the roll in slow roll in now because from 10 to 100 okay and let's wait for the roll out yep -os. and then it loops again wonderful guys uh, so what you can do is you can get all the names of the in effects and out effects if you visit the website okay I'm just showing you the tip of the iceberg uh, basically there's so much more that, that you can actually do with this plugin and there are so many effects so many in animations, so many out animations okay as I said this is the playground or the preview area right sync let's see if sync can actually help us if I add an additional optional parameter and say it's for NC true sync to true let's see how this actually changes the that's a roll in oh <laughs> the rollout was pretty snappy this time right zoop you know it was not letter by letter the whole thing vanished uh, together when I applied the sync wow that's cool okay I can even apply the delay here as well so if I copy this if I put a comma out here and paste out here and just change this to number 10 okay that'll make it very snappy the rollout that is let's do a refresh so the rollout should be very snappy this time in a sync all together zoop there it goes right so people um, you know if you want to go through the document there's so much more as I said that you can actually do and these guys actually try to confuse you a lot and that is the reason you know as I said you you know you ask the uh, developers a simple question when you actually sleep and they're gonna say I sleep 10 hours after I get up and only if I've had my dinner by 8 p.m. so that doesn't tell you anything right sadly the documentation for most plugins is like that it, they try their best to actually confuse you that is the reason why I came up with this very simple example you know you can use this as a template and you can just change the uh, roll in out here roll out out there with different animations you can change the delay values etc etc use it use this bit like the template where you'll actually push in your own arguments right so guys uh, go through the live demos go through the usage again it's not very easy to understand and that is the reason why I actually tried to make it as simple as possible but again this is just the tip of the iceberg guys there's so much more that you can actually do please explore these links okay if you if you, this is the main link if you can't understand you know if it's difficult for you to uh, you can just google up textilate.js uh, and you'll actually arrive at the link okay guys so I hope you found this information useful you have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.